So welcome everybody to SMOOTH, which is a volatility reduction uh, infrastructure to protect cryptocurrencies from economic collapse. So, and let me tell you how I grew this business to $16,000 of monthly recurring revenue in the last three months. If you look at the problem in the industry, 99% of cryptocurrencies suffer at least one massive collapse in their life cycle, and market makers are doing nothing to prevent this. In fact, they are kind of part of the problem because 70% of the transaction volume on exchange are being faked by them, and they occasionally go on liquidation hunts to wipe out billions from customer funds. Meanwhile, every four years, uh, the crypto industry suffer a massive collapse. And last time it wiped out a trillion dollar. So you can ask the question, what did the market makers do to prevent this? And the truth is that token projects need their own infrastructure to handle market making of their own. So we want to solve this with a volatility reduction infrastructure that is designed specifically to protect token from economic collapse. The unique approach is to collect a large collateral that make tokens behave as hybrid between stablecoin and altcoins. So we are currently using existing technology that rely on version three of Uniswap, and we are in the process of fully automating the middleware with trading bots so that we can uh, scale to the increased customer demand. So first, let me brief you on how a liquidity pool works on a decentralized exchange like Uniswap. When users swap between a stablecoin and their favorite token, let's say Cure, the USDT goes into the liquidity pool and it acts essentially like a bank. However, the mathematics uh, is prone to high volatility. So the reality is that when you see a project with a hundred million dollar of market cap in circulation, the liquidity available is only a tiny fraction of that, which lead to the risk of a bank run and often that lead to the price collapse of more than 90%. So the way we do things differently is that we've designed a trading bot infrastructure that will place limit sell orders along the price curve of the exchange. And that makes the price uh, grow more slowly. You can think of these sell orders as resistance zones uh, in the price uh, at various price interval. And then uh, this way, we are collecting a large amount of collateral in USDT that we then use to create limit buy orders below the current price. And these will be acting as support zone in your price structure. So overall, this achieved two purpose. It reduced volatility by more than 50%, and it generates significant revenue that can be further used to protect the price uh, against the collapse. And it also you can use for financing the operation of the business. So we essentially reduce panic selling behavior. And since we have a large collateral to protect uh, the token economy. So for the past uh, 10 months, I've been working on growing my influence in the crypto market. I now reached 5,000 views per month on Medium for my work on tokenomics and market making. And one of my article has been discussed on the Crypto Banter show recently that had 60,000 views. In the last three months, we've grown to $16,000 in monthly recurring revenue from four customers. We have an additional 11 letter of interest and an additional 21 sub-commitment to onboard in the next few months as the company gets ready to launch their token on the market. So we typically charge $4,000 a month. We first start with tokenomics, and then we move into market making that is ongoing with an additional 10% of profit generated. So I used to run a $10 million crypto fund with sale. I've been uh, launching a, a token in the past and we suffered an actual collapse. So this is why this problem is uh, like important to me. Prior to that, I was a senior full stack engineer with two degrees in AI, and I've launched seven startups so far. I'm supported by James and Michael, who handle a lot of our sales process, while Sail handle the uh, legal needs and IP protection. And Sail and I just filed uh, last week our first provisional patent for the, the, the process uh, of, the, the system, of the system. So if you happen to be a Web3 startup that is launching a token soon, 
or a crypto exchange or a service provider to the industry, please reach out to me. Would love to work with you to prevent yet another collapse of the industry. Thank you very much, Patrick, for the presentation. Um, I think everything is clear, but I'm sure, again, the judges have some questions for you. So let's hand over to them. Yes, I have um, a question. So you're saying you can prevent tokens from losing value while still generating um, an APY that's pretty high. Can you explain that to me, how that works and how, yeah, that would be great. Uh, yes, so I've run a proof of concept of this uh, between June and August. And I'm able to generate 10% per month on the capital that was allocated. So I did 30% in that three months. I, I realized that this is pretty high and there might be a diminishing return as the market cap increase. But uh, the way it works is that it's kind of like a grid bot when you do the market making. So you buy, you keep buying back as the price go down because you have a very large amount of collateral and you sell the token when it starts going up. So this way it kind of reduces the volatility, but you keep making pairs of trade that are profitable. And this is what I demonstrated the 10% per month. So if you have a 50% of collateral on a market cap of 100 million, you might be making about $50 million a year of revenue on, on that. I think there might be diminishing return. We haven't reached that point yet, but it looks pretty encouraging at the moment. But that is banking on the that the coin goes up as well. So if it like buying low and selling high, um, sorry, I failed to see how that is unique. Uh, it I think a sideway market actually performed better in this case, but uh, the the unique part is that crypto exchange. They, they don't combine the two, the limit buy and limit sell with the liquidity pool. So when people have $100 million of market cap in circulation and everything is in the liquidity pool, the, it's not representative of the true value in the pool itself because it's often a very tiny fraction of that 100 million. So when people start selling, there's an economic collapse and panic selling that happens. Meanwhile, if you have a collateral that is outside of that, it, it's not acting on the price. You, you, so then you can have like a support zone in your price structure to prevent a fast collapse. You, you slow down the growth, but you slow down the decrease as well. So. Uh, I haven't seen anybody using that, but you, you can look at the industry, like most token in the last bear market, crash more than 90%, even Bitcoin lost 60%. I don't know any project that use that except stablecoin themselves. This is how they, with 100% of collateral, they're able to prevent uh, like massive collapse and deep begging. Maybe I can go uh, next. Thanks for uh, for for answering the questions and the uh, and the insights. Uh, you have um, signed up already four clients. You have twenty others uh, uh, that that are interested. Uh, can you shine a bit of light? What what kind of uh, clients are that? What what kind of companies? So Andromeda Protocol. Uh, they are on Cosmos. They are uh, building kind of a visual editor to uh, blockchain so that you can write new blockchain visually. It's, it's a really interesting project. They're launching uh, in two days, actually, on the market. Mm -hmm. Pickle Zone just signed. Uh, they will be launching in 2024 in the first quarter. It's an eSports type of uh, marketplace. Ferrantal, uh, they are building a crypto casino. On uh, It start on Telegram, but they will be moving just pure blockchain on maybe ICP. And uh, Curator, it's a token review platform. They are also, most of them haven't launched their, their token yet. So I have yet to, to get the data to, to write a, a case study so that I can onboard more clients. A lot of my other soft commitment and signed LOI, they are waiting to, to see a case study of that. So. 
All right, thank you. Uh, I have a quick question regarding the growth of this um, of this model because what what I feel like right now it's pretty much um, a lot of manual work involved in this as well. Like you need to onboard these these clients manually. Uh, you need to consult them on the tokenomics. So what is what is your um, like strategy regarding onboarding? Like let's say hundreds of customers in the future. How will the, how will that be made possible? Is that all a question of how much? Um, people you have uh, that can that can do the same as you, or like how how would that look like? How can you automate the processes around it for soft on? Yeah, that's thing. Right now, we're automating the process with uh, trading bots. But ideally, if this was integrated directly on the exchange, that would simplify things a lot, and then the client could just mm -hmm. configure when they inject the liquidity pool on Uniswap or other exchange, they could just uh, configure a few more steps to configure how the the collateral is collected and, and how it behaves. Uh, this is why we filed the process patent so that we can negotiate on exchange to integrate this directly on them. This way, uh, our customer yeah. support and onboard process would be very simplified. Interesting, but you, you haven't, like you have filed the patent, but you did not speak with some of the exchanges yet, right? Uh, no, I, I have three exchange in my uh, 20 months of commitment that are interested. Okay, interesting. Okay, thank you.